How long did it take you to write the original Elite? It took Ian and I um, just under two years, I think. And um, what did you did you know at the beginning you were doing something that was new and unusual, or did, did that become apparent as you were working out how to how to make it? Yes, I think the the, the issue really was that um, games then were very basic. They were all very much set on a five ten minute gameplay time and three lives and all this sort of thing. And I think both Ian and I certainly I was sick of the games that were out there. They'd got into a rut because they were all based on the arcades. And we wanted to do something new, but I think the combination of 3D and the scale of the game, as we, as we went forward, we, did, we were actually really worried someone else was going to steal our thunder and do it, because it, it didn't seem that hard. So it just seemed just such the, 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 the place being wide open to competition. It was a different time then, I suppose, because yeah. it was open to anyone that uh, just well, had an Well, the wonderful idea. thing is you could buy a piece of kit like the BBC Micro, um, and it came with everything. You could be a professional programmer. You didn't have to buy fancy software. And that, as a kid, was wonderful. It opened the door to me. It's partly why I was one of the people with Raspberry Pi as well. And you programmed Elite, as it, most video games programmers did. You programmed it in assembler language. Assembler yes. language, which is the most boring thing you can actually program in. Am I right? <laughs> it's, the equivalent yes, of, you're right. it's the equivalent of saying blink now, move your left foot, blink, breathe, move your right foot. I mean, you have to tell it to do everything individually, don't you? But it would be a bit like describing writing as saying what? You have to check one of 26 letters and then another one after it, and they have to be in the right order. You get to see it in, in the wider scope. It, it's a tool, and you get used to it. And the great thing is, I mean, and this goes back to the early days, you could write a program in BASIC and just write little bits of it in Assembler to start with. That's how I learned, and that was absolutely brilliant. Um, but you get used to it. It's like you get used to anything. You, you analyse, over-analyse things. Some of the special effects people do in video. You look at it and you go, Jesus, you did that. And you actually said, no, it's not very hard. You do this, you do that, you do that. You know, but the point is, when you look at the whole thing, you go, Jesus, how do I do that? But when you look at the microscopic, you go, oh, yes, I see. I mean, assembler is actually much more simple. It's just you have to do a very lot of simple steps to make it into a, 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 a proper step. Yeah. How good are you at this game, and how good are you, were you at the original Elite? Uh, I gradually got better and better, because when you, you play it a lot, with the original Elite, I, I became quite good. Although, I'll let you know a secret, I never got to become Elite. Not, not legitimately, because I played it so many times from the start level, yeah. uh, that um, I would play up to sort of competent lots and lots of times, but then restart and try again, and just spending a lot of time trying to balance it so that it felt fun. 